Hello there, folks. Hey, Redline just came out with a new build of Crimson 3.2. And the really cool thing about this new build is that you can use it on uh, any of the hardware that was supported in Crimson 3.1. So I highly recommend uh, you go to Redline's website and download Crimson 3.2. And I just want to show you a few things here. It looks a lot like Crimson 3.1. Only big difference is you have this device configuration. But I want to show you how you can open up existing crimson files in here so if you go to the file pull down and do open and you're going to navigate to wherever you might have your crimson 3.1 folder or files and down here folks where it says crimson 3.2 if you change this to crimson 3.1 it will show you the files that you had generated in crimson 3.1 it also shows crimson 3.0 as well so it may actually open those but i'm going to use crimson 3.1 and if I pick on one of these in here, these are one of my class ones. I'll pick this one here. Say no to that. And it's going to come up. It's going to offer you appropriate product. In this case, it was a Geo 9 before. So that's what I hope it is now. So here it is. And I'm going to click the OK button. And now I have the same program that I use in classes in Crimson 3.1. Now it's in Crimson 3.2. And so in this case, you can use uh, the standard communications you had before, everything else. The only big difference is you have this device configuration, and here I might do another video of some of the stuff in here. Some things are different, but uh, most everything's the same in here, uh, but I'll play around and make another video of that. But I wanted to show that, and uh, out of curiosity, then the other thing that some people are really excited about is they brought back the emulator in Crimson 3.2. So I haven't tested this yet, so I'm making this video to try it out and see what happens. So this button here turns on the emulator. So if I don't have it highlighted, it's going to download to the real thing. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go to the link pull down. I'm going to go down here to options. And it's got send the emulator right here. That's right, that button there. Turn that on. If I hit the configure button here, you can actually tell the emulator to use some of your Ethernet ports. So in this case, I could use one of my uh, Ethernet ports I use on my laptop here. So I'll click the OK button. I'll click OK again. Let's just see what happens when I go download this to the emulator. Let's see what happens here. Hey, look at this. There it is. Now, I know when I did this, I thought the first time I had a beta build, it would install, I think, some PCAP software. You might let it install that. But anyway, so here's the emulator running. And I think uh, if the only way you can close it is to actually right-click on it down on your taskbar and close it there to shut it down. But you can use it to test things. And so I just thought I'd show that quick video. And then when you're ready to download the real thing, turn that off. And then now when it goes to download, link, options, you'll have it set up to download over the TCP or USB method here, if you will. Yep. Perfect. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a quick video of that. The other thing is, here in Crimson 3.2 now, if I go File New, I won't change, save the changes, but you see here, team, you get the, the DA10, DA30s in here. Of course, the DA50 and 70, they've been in here for a while. But you have all the other CR1000 series in here, uh, the 3000 series right here. The graphite screens and the edge controller so uh the only thing it's missing here is the e3 io will not go into crimson 3.2 at this time really is no reason for e3 to be in here to be honest with you because it's a uh, io it's really just io it's not really a crimson so to say configurable product so it's going to stay in crimson 3.1 but everything else is in here and uh that's pretty cool if you ask me so if i wanted to pick a geo 7 let's just try something real quick here and go over here and say I want to delete this, change the background color of this page to something else. Yellow, and go grab some symbols. And we'll put a door right there. Another door there. Let's try this. So if I go ahead and turn on the emulator, this button here, it, you know, it changes position depending on what screen you're looking at. Go ahead and download. Let's see if it downloads. Say yes. Look at that. That's pretty cool, team. So anyway, I just thought I'd make a quick video of... Uh, running the emulator crimson 3.2 i said it just came out today which is july 27th of 2023 so if you go to redline's website crimson 3.2 download the latest if you have crimson 3.2 already in your pc uh, i think you can just import and run it install it there i'm not aware of having to uninstall it before unless you're running a beta build of crimson then you'll want to go through the windows way to uninstall but if you're running regular crimson 3.2 I, I think you can also go to the help and check for update. This will also go out and check to see if there's an update. Really? I have the latest. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> so, anyway, 
Uh, that's it, team. Just a quick video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks. See you.